This is the Solid Signal Podcast for the week of February 4th, 2019. I'm recording this on a Monday, which means for me, the Super Bowl was just one day away. Was it a Super Bowl for the ages? Well, um, I suppose you could say by the numbers, the New England Patriots made it uh, into six wins, which puts them in very rarefied company. And I'm pretty sure Tom Brady now has more wins than any quarterback in history and is probably the oldest quarterback in the history of history to have won a Super Bowl. And there's all sorts of numbers and stuff like that. But I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about how the Super Bowl made us feel. And for most people, it seems like it made them feel bored. And I get that. This was not one of those Super Bowls with miraculous play. This was a case where both teams did a really competent job on defense and one team did a slightly better job on offense. Not not really, a, you know, a blowout by any measure. It's just that one team managed to score a touchdown and the other team did not. And in the end, that's about all you can say about that. You could say a similar thing about the com- about the commercials, that some of them were kind of okay, but I don't think that any of them were really kind of water coolery in the way that you used to see 15 years ago. I think that the internet has blunted the edge a lot of these of a lot of these commercials because they come out days ahead of time. People can talk about them. There's just, you know, there's nothing that you're really going to chat about obsessively like you used to. And then if you're talking about the halftime show, um, it was not to my liking. Uh, musical tastes are very individual, and I guess if this one just wasn't reaching out to me individually. I thought that it was just kind of okay. Uh, the bar has been raised so high for Super Bowl halftime shows, it's hard to know how you could really top it. But I will say this wasn't it. And then we have to talk about the broadcast itself. Um, I actually received a number of notes through the Solid Signal blog as the broadcast was going on, thinking that DirecTV was going down or something like that. And it didn't turn, turn out to be the case. The truth is that every provider had a lot of problems with the Super Bowl, and it seems like most of it seems to have uh, come from the broadcast trucks and from CBS's own network, depending on where you are. Uh, weather caused a problem with broadcasts, and perhaps satellite feeds were interrupted for a short period of time. And it seems like the folks at Spectrum had the worst, uh, far, far worse than DirecTV or Dish. I counted about seven uh, quick drops in broadcast coverage, I mean, of a, of a second or two, and then we got on. And And yes, there was one that happened to be right in the middle of a field goal attempt, and that was frustrating, but it came back, and of course, there's always instant replay and stuff like that. There was no 4K this year for the Super Bowl, and it's clear that there is a demand for it. Uh, At the moment, uh, if you look in the last seven days, uh, my article on whether or not the Super Bowl would be in 4K on DirecTV was the most visited article on the Solid Signal blog, as I said, in the last seven days third most visited article in the last 90 days, which should tell you something. People have been looking for this for some time, and it was Google's top result for a fashion uh, if you Google Super Bowl 4K DirecTV. I'm actually pretty proud of that, and so I'm kind of giving myself a little bit of credit there. But it says that there is a lot of demand for Super Bowl in 4K. The problem is there's just no mechanism for it. As the article that I wrote says, Uh, the major broadcast networks don't want the Super Bowl in 4K because if they did, then that would go to a dedicated channel uh, and they would not be able to sell their local commercials. It would take money out of their pockets. There's a problem with that model, obviously. And the problem isn't going to get solved necessarily for a long time. It will take until uh, broadcasters adopt 4K, which could happen with the ATSC3 standard sometime starting in the next three years and going on until 2025, or it could never happen. Uh, Super Bowl is one of those few cases that people kind of wanted 4K. Maybe they just got a brand new TV and they want to try it. But Super Bowl is so inextricably tied right now to broadcast television that it could potentially be the last major sporting event that is only in HD. If 
the ATSC3 standard does not really come to pass, or if it's implemented the way that it's looking at right now, where it's completely voluntary, then we're going to see problems because the broadcast networks are paying an awful lot for the Super Bowl and they're not going to have 4K available, at least not nationally. So what to do about that? Well, one thing that we could see is potentially Super Bowl could tie itself to a company like Hulu or YouTube, and YouTube's already paid a lot of money for advertising, so it's quite possible it could be them to where the network infrastructure could be strong enough that everybody could stream it in 4K. I don't see that happening really much in the next three or four years either, truthfully. that's That would take an awful lot of bandwidth to get, you know, 100 million people streaming 4K all at the same time and have that work, especially with, you know, pausing and backing up and all that stuff. And the last thing you want is for the one source of Super Bowl programming to go down in the clutch time. So, all in all, I would say this was a mediocre Super Bowl. Now, if you're a New England fan, you, you loved it. If you were not a New England fan, you probably did not love it. And I want to put a shout out to all of my friends from New England who really are so glad that the Super Bowl went their way. Fantastic for you. And, and I am personally a fan of the New England Patriots. I'll, dis, I'll disclose that. I'm the lone Patriot fan among the Lions fans in our office. But... Um, I, I will say that it was, in general, a mediocre Super Bowl and that we are going to see probably increasingly mediocre Super Bowls for the next several years until the matter of 4K really gets resolved and until maybe we stop believing that we're going to see mind-altering and, and life-changing commercials. As long as we accept that that's never going to happen again, we'll probably be okay with the Super Bowl and we'll just enjoy watching the game. That's about it for me for the Solid Signal podcast for this week. Thanks very much for listening as always, and I will be back to you next week with a whole bunch of new and exciting stuff.